part two. This is the quad I got for Christmas and this time we're going to be doing the electronics. So one thing I forgot to mention last time was that carbon fibre conducts electricity and this can be a problem for the power distri distribution which sits on the carbon fibre plate itself. So you can stop that from happening by using some of this red uh, foam double sided insulating tape just underneath it to hold it up above the um, carbon fibre plates. So now we need to do the motors. These are Emacs 2204 version 2 motors which I'm going to put on and um, we're just going to bolt them onto the arms here with the screws provided that I've got in this bag and we've got to sort of flip it over so it's quite complicated and then you've got to screw them, you've got to find the screw holes and screw it all together although you've got to do a bit of sort of feeling around and then you can do it hand tight get all the screws hand tight and then go back with the allen key provided to tighten them all up Now. These are all the motors put on. There's a special way you've got to mount them in, in accordance to the front and the back of the quad but also in accordance to where the direction that the motors are spinning. So anti-clockwise or clockwise or counterclockwise as some people call it. Um, and my editor will kindly put a diagram of that up in a corner of the screen, I don't know where, but somewhere. So, now I'm going to put on the ESCs. I've got these Emacs BL Heli 12 amp ESCs, these things here. These, um, these three wires here are going to solder onto the three wires on the motors. Uh, it doesn't matter which ones go where. These two wires here are going to solder onto the positive and negative of the power distribution in this certain corner. And this plug here is going to plug into these pins on the NAS32 flight controller just like that. This is the flight controller which sort of uh, translates the messages from the receiver into instructions for the motors and ESCs. So now we're going to cut, strip, tin and solder all these wires on. So I finished soldering this ESC onto this motor here. The uh, the joints here were easier to solder and do everything on when the motor was unattached, so unbolted onto the arm. So that's rather annoying, but it's worth doing anyway to get the solder joints right. I've also soldered them onto the power distribution board here. And um, so red to positive, black to negative. These bits here are covered with electrical tape, just again so that they don't touch the carbon fibre, but also don't touch each other and short each other out. So now we're going to stick that ESC down with some of this double sided foam insulating tape and then maybe do a few turns around it with electrical tape and then we've got to do the rest of them. So now I've soldered on all the ESCs and now it's time to solder the pin headers, the rest of the pin headers onto the NAS32, plug everything in and program it and then we're pretty much done. So. This is the NAS32 board. I've already soldered on this pin header here. This is a 3x6. And now we need to flip it over and solder this 1x10 pin header onto the bottom of it here to give more space. So that then this piece here can be plugged into it like that. And the other end of this plug is what goes into the uh, the receiver. So I've got everything plugged in here. The ESC wires go into the 3x6 pin header here and then we've got the 1x10 pin header soldered into the bottom of the NAS32 here and these plugs here go into the receiver that I bought and that's just stuck onto the back of the frame with some more of this foam double sided insulating tape not that it needs to be insulated or anything but it's just to hold it there and um, so now we've got to sort of wiggle the wires around doesn't really matter where they go it's just to try and get it to work 
and it'll fit in and then we've got to slide it down on top of the long screws. I'm going to hold it down with some of these, some more of these one, uh, these 10 mil standoffs which I used earlier in the previous video. Um, you can hold them down with lock nuts but I'm not going to use lock nuts because I want to be able to access the power distribution board later on so that I can put FPV equipment into it and solder that straight onto the power distribution board so that it can run off the battery, the main battery. So, now we're going to top it and prop it. Don't forget to put the FPV camera surround in the front as well. So, now I've topped it and propped it. I used mainly YouTube videos, mainly by flight test, to do the programming on the NAS32 and on Clean Flight, which is the online software. Um, but there's still a few problems that I've encountered that I really have no clue how to solve. So I'm going to take this to my local model shop in Worthing, Sussex Model Centre. I'll put a link in the description to their website. Um, and see if they can solve it because I have really no clue. But I'm going to leave you with this. <laughs>